Hi Libra, thank you so much for joining me today. I hope that you were doing really, really well as we look into the last week of November. And so for this reading, we're gonna take a look at the cards and get a sense of the awareness for the week, guidance and possible outcomes. I will also choose a couple of Oracle cards for additional information. So let's just go ahead and get started with your reading. Okay, so we have the Three of Wands. We have the High Priestess, Major Arcana. And we have the Strength card, Major Arcana. So in looking at the Three of Wands, we see this man standing with one hand on one of the wands and two other wands, almost like it's a portal. His back is to us. His face is, is facing forward or front towards what's out there, you know, the horizon. And uh, the Three of Wands is a card of the continuation, uh, the desire to manifest, to expand, and to expand your own personal horizons. And um, you're thinking about the benefits that it would bring, uh, you know, enriching your own experiences, maybe giving you new perspectives. Maybe you accomplish this through travel at its very literal level, perhaps, the Three of Wands can suggest travel. But this card is about uh, thinking of the big picture and uh, whether you are wanting to tackle new projects, wanting to um, build relationships, whether they're platonic or romantic, or start a new business, a new enterprise. This expansion and this movement is, you know, part of what you want to accomplish. And it takes leadership and you, you're the one who is steward, you know, you're taking charge of this movement and the end finding the new experiences. So this is the, the, the continuation of like the two of wands where he's thinking with the globe and here he's really gonna start to move it out. With the high priestess, the high priestess is a getting in touch with yourself kind of card and diving deep in your own subconscious, diving deep within the well of your own spirituality. And the High Priestess calls for being still and passive, meditating, contemplating, uh, being still, and again, calling on your own psychic self, which everyone has this intuitive sense, everyone has the ability to read themselves, read situations. It's a matter of tuning in. And so the High Priestess is saying, hey, tune into yourself. Trust your inner guide. Trust your own perceptions of situations and be aware of the messages that come your way. You know, don't be oblivious. And things that may seem innocuous at first, they may come back and come back to you to say, hey, that might have been important here. And maybe, you know, passing a street sign or something that has some type of significance, that maybe that's telling you something. So just be open to receiving messages. But really with the High Priestess, it's about trusting your own instinct, your hunches, your dreams, and, uh, you know, what your mind is telling you, what you think often becomes reality. And with the High Priestess, you know, connect with your inner self, connect with your guides. And um, there's often a secretive aspect to the High Priestess. So if you are, if someone's told something to you in confidence, keep it you know, keep it close to heart. Maybe you, there are some things you're not ready to reveal and you're just keeping them for yourself and that's, that's totally fine. 
you know, just go ahead and do that because we all have these hidden talents, we have hidden abilities, and we know best when to bring them out. And then finally, we have the strength card. And in the strength card, we see the person here who is almost touching the line but isn't in this illustration, the red lion. And so uh, this often is the connection between this wild animal and this human. And the human theoretically has wisdom and the animal relies on its animal instincts and its base instinct. And with this card of strength, it's really a sense of, of uh, you know, of, of mastering your own animal instincts and not letting them get out of control. This figure here has control over the line, soft control. But I think that the human figure values the power and the, the ferocious nature of the lion, but is doing, uh, is able to get near the lion with calmness and um, its own sense, it's their own sense of self and their own sense of courage. So this person doesn't really show fear because it understands what the lion has to offer. So um, I think with the strength card, it's always about your inner strength. It's always about facing your fears, not letting them devour you, not letting them overwhelm you, and understanding that you should have faith in yourself and the courage of your own actions and the courage of your own heart, and that you're following your inner strength, following your inner guides, thinking of the big picture and wanting to expand yourself or your life or your experiences brings you closer to a higher purpose. And the strength card uh, tells us that uh, there's energy there, that there's strength to bounce back from obstacles, there's strength to feel healthy if you've been not feeling well. And uh, this, this goes towards your activities. You know, you have the strength to do what you put your mind to, what you put your heart to. And it's, it's a beautiful combination of intuitive power and faith and heart and courage from within. Again, these two cards going from within and believing what you have within. So very lovely um, spread for Tuesday. Let's take a look at the numbers. We have three and two is five. Five and eight is 13. That reduces to one plus three equals four. Four is about a firm foundation and stability and family and finding security as well. So fabulous spread. Now I would like to um, find out, we'll, we'll look at an oracle card to add additional meaning to the reading. This is the Whispers of Love Oracle by Angela, I think it's Hartfield. Forgiveness. Nothing can be gained by holding on to past disappointments. So I feel like this card has been coming up a lot or the concept and the idea of forgiveness. And in order to heal and in order to expand and to move forward, one needs to forgive. One of the hardest things to do because you get caught up in that uh, just the feeling and it, it's just it can be deep within you and maybe it just takes a little time for you to be in a position to think about forgiving someone and maybe you need to weigh the um, you know weigh the 
circumstances to really get a sense of the forgiveness meter. Is this really a serious uh, thing that's happened that I'm going to stew about it for a while? Or is this something that I can just kind of uh, acknowledge that it ticked me off and I'm going to move on? But forgiveness is really the path to your peace and your sanity and your serenity. Holding on to, you know, holding on to f past hurts doesn't allow you to grow spiritually or to, ha or to have uh, the truest sense of enjoyment from these future activities, experiences that you're going to build and particularly when it comes to relationships. So perhaps the message is, you know, in thinking about diving deep is, is finding the way to forgive. And again, it's, you know, we've all, we've all felt that feeling like I'm never going to forgive you, not on my deathbed, you know, but over time, things soften and you have more experiences and you realize maybe it wasn't as important as I was thinking of it. So long-winded, sorry for that, but forgiveness is, it is a path to your own sense of peace. And so uh, step by step, maybe a little wiggle room each day toward forgiving someone worry about yourself, take care of your own inner path, your own instincts, believe in the strength that you have within your life, uh, and to overcome the hurts. So a wonderful reading for Tuesday. I wish you the very best on Tuesday. Let me know how your day goes. If you enjoyed this reading, please like, share, or comment. If you're new to the channel, please consider subscribing. It's a great way to show support, to stay connected. And uh, I hope you'll come back again tomorrow for another daily tarot reading. Thank you so much. Bye-bye.